talk about talk about um, uh, distorting institutions and and you know so so uh, labor unions uh, been going on strike in America for well over a hundred years maybe it's one hundred and fifty years uh, and uh, labor unions have, have for most of that period or maybe all of that period have been affiliated and associated with the Democratic Party but presidents in the past have really made an effort to not get involved. I mean, they might comment on unions, but really somewhat of a, of, of a distance, primarily because there is an understanding in the American system that government has somewhat of, not completely, unfortunately, but somewhat of an arm's length relationship to business and the economy. And the idea was, even if I support the labor unions, they need to work this out with management. They go on strike and there's a negotiation and they work it out. Now, suddenly the Obama administration completely disrupted that in, in, in horrifying manner. One of the worst things any president has ever done was uh, what happened with the auto industry in, I think it was 2010, uh, when the Obama administration came in and kind of enforced, as part of a bailout, enforced settlements that restructured, um, uh, the restructured uh, General Motors and I think Chrysler as well, uh, in, in, and, and basically, basically screwed the bondholders uh, and, and, and involved government intervention in ways that are new and, uh, and, and very bad for the long-term prospects for America. But what President Biden did yesterday is really unprecedented. It's, it's it, a president have never done this. President Biden yesterday actually went to the picket line where the UAW is picketing the auto companies and actually, you know, participated on the picket line. Now, this is disgusting and an American and, uh, you know, uh, another step in the direction of that presidents have been making for 100 years of greater and greater involvement of the government in our economy and in, you know, in uh, the very nature of employment. And it, the government already does a lot. But this is symbolically. It's not, there's not, nothing really happened, but it's symbolic. Here's the president of the United States taking sides, actually physically taking sides. In a, you know, in, in a case where I think the auto unions, for the most part, are wrong because of this is an inflection point in auto in the industry. It's it, and and they're gonna they're gonna put U.S. auto companies really put them in, place them in, in a point in a place of, of of real issues and problems and challenges given given where the auto industry is heading. Anyway, he was on the picket line yesterday. Now, we all know why he did it. He's trying to show up support for his campaign for president. He's trying to get the unions to support him. The unions are not happy with him particularly because, uh, because of uh, all the support for electric cars, which they know is going to hurt them. Uh, the fact that the uh, Inflation Reduction Act, which supports batteries and electric cars and all of that, didn't include requirements that all these plants have labor uh, union uh, unions. Uh, so we know that he has to shore up support from the union. We know he's in trouble with the polls. We know that he is very unpopular as a president. And in the latest poll, depending on which one you believe, he's either losing to Trump by eight points or in a dead heat with Trump. But in any case, you know, He's not doing well. So he goes and, and, and he, I think, compromises his position as president of the United States by taking, by taking a position and going and standing on a picket line. Disgraceful. Disgraceful, disgraceful, disgraceful. Uh, and, and a sad, uh, sad point in, uh, in where we are as, as a country and where the, the, presidency, uh, the presidency today is.